Yeah, we are oh. here. We have counted you down to the weekend. We are here today. Hey, we're going to say so the age of the baby. If you don't know the difference between sweet potatoes and yams and ways to cook them outside of candy yams and pies, we got the deal for you. If you are looking to increase your, your improve your vision, improve your health, despite aging and wrinkling and having all these other wonderful benefits, if you're looking for to get to get out of that into the benefits of sweet potatoes and yams, this is the episode for you. Wait a minute, talk show, Game Show Friday. Game Show Friday. I have a ham, y'all. I just left the store. This is uh yam i don't have a sweet potato with me but ah y'all know i had to go to the market make some things happen this is the yam this is the cassava this is wow yeah y'all see who's the chef right laquita marie chef laquita marie yours truly and the chef that's why corey was like wow buffalo blue eyes (laughs) Um, yeah, so Wally is saying this is rig game Fridays. Guess what, Wally? Thanks for the comment. You are in to the blue plate, blue, blue, blue plate race, the first place <laughs> blue plate race. Now, keep in mind, there are lots of races on this talk show. We talk all things health, business, and wealth, but Melissa James has put in hashtag the home team. So make sure you do what she's doing, put in hashtag the home team. Welcome, 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 Beth Vergara, TWP Popcorn. Pop, 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 pop corn. Yes. Uh, look, Giabra says I was first. Bruh, uh, we just showed you who was first. Mm-hmm. But you can win first place pony. All you have to do is put in hashtag the home team. Okay. Hey, Lion Crest Outdoors. <laughs> Professor Q is in the house. The Mufasa mangoes, the symbol of sweet potatoes. Hey, this is your this is your episode today. The symbol of sweet potatoes and the scar of scallions is <laughs> in the building. And you know, G. Albert said, "What's the difference between ham, yam, and sweet potato?" Um, ham. <laughs> look, I I kind of know. The, well, I might have read they read that wrong. You know, I can't read that well. But yam, ham, and sweet potato is what I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> so Melissa Jane is saying, "Hey, beautiful people, you know Sandra living a full life is here. Make sure you do what Melissa Jane did earlier, please, and put in hashtag the home team. If you're here, yeah. just like G Albert and bracket reviews. Oh, Mateo, good to hey. see you. Definitely, we're going to be into you guys into the blue plate blue plate race. That's the first race of the day for those people that got into the comments in the first five minutes of today's game show Friday: sweet potato versus yams. It's an age-old battle that goes back further than it's more historical than the Civil War, Vietnam, the Korean War, the <laughs> Afghan, the war in Afghanistan, and the, and the commanders versus the cowboys all combined. All of that. So basically, uh, we are going to get right into our first question. It's game day Friday. Wally says, my point exactly is the rig games Friday. Shaking my head. Look, <laughs> that's why you in the race right now. I'm going to put you in the second time, Mr. Hanson, just for that. But by Renaissance Grandma. Hey, hey Vanessa. No, no. Yes, she's always listening and working. Y'all know that she has all the seasonings and everything. You can buy them from her store. Check out her channel. Get the link. Head on over there. It's that Tabitha Brown seasoning, um, whereas Tabitha Brown talked it up, but my Renaissance grandma is the OG. She was already making it, already selling it. People were already enjoying it. She has so many testimonials. So of course, Sandra living a full life has put it in there, hashtag the home team. And Gail is reminding y'all, click the like button. There's If there's value here for you, click the like button. Don't click it if you don't love it, okay? Philip Waldo Jr. is here. JWJ representing VA, two up, two down, holding it down. Now, Corey, today uh, we have game day. We're talking about yams. We showed you all this yam. Now, I got this from a Ghanaian market. So a lot of you are looking for like a sweet potato type of yam. And this right here is a yam yam, right? Mm-hmm. It comes from, I'm, I'm serious. Like, you know how it's like here in the States, We'll say yam, but all of them are sweet potatoes, y'all. Whatever they got in the store saying yam. Ask the gardeners, right? Now, Melissa Jane was second. She says, no prizes for that. Girl, you're the first loser. That's what second place is, the first one. So, hey, you got first place in that category. Uh, I don't know, Wiley. When you stop being handsome, I stop calling you Mr. Handsome. Y'all know, let me tell y'all what's handsome. Wally's innovation, Wally's learning capabilities, Wally is always looking at the next best technology. So he's that person, if you're trying to figure out something about tech, he's like, oh yeah, this system, that system, and he tests them out, he tries them out. Uh, that's a handsome thing. Even though you say- We can change the name to Mr. Fugly. 
<laughs> yeah, best you won't, but I thought it's nice. I think it's nice to be called Mr. Handsome. So uh, let's see. Thank you, Gail, for dropping my Renaissance grandma's uh, name. She is already in the blue ribbon plate race. Y'all, if you made it into the first five minutes, we're going to talk about these different foods right here. But if you made it into the first five minutes, you're already in the food race. It's the first five minutes. So I say we give them that first question, Corey. All right. And this way they can kind of answer that question, uh, start thinking about that question. Cause you know, it's food, all things food, right? Are you ready? All right. All right. So the first question is, dun, dun, dun. Laquita Marie leaves the skin on when she makes sweet potato drop biscuits because the skin is good for what? Is it fiber? Is it bunions, manganese, vitamin C, antioxidants, vitamin A, big egos, vitamin E, or potassium? So already, Gail at night is like, da da, fiber. And look at Wally, he over there blushing. Oh Lord, <laughs> shaking my head. Anyways, oh, uh, she's saying fiber. Okay, so we already have one answer to the current question. Let's see what everybody else is saying. Gail at night is reminding you how you can get your free coffee. Y'all know we got to fuel ourselves. We got to do what we got to do out here. So, hey, start your buy me a coffee page from our page. And that way, when you start your page, the platform buys you a coffee. It buys us a coffee. Everybody wins. Hey, OK. Melissa Jane says fiber. All right. Let's see. Bracket review says fiber, I think. <laughs> Y'all know we always have more than one right answer. So you can choose any of these, okay? Thank you, Philip Waldo Jr., our favorite moderator, for greeting everyone as they come in, making everyone feel welcome. It really helps us to not miss people as they come in as well. He's even shouting out Mr. Handsome. Okay, Corey, back to the answers. G. Albert says, who eats the skin? Good for keeping it together for cooking and butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Listen to him. Okay, so I eat the skin. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we eat the skin and, and it on whether it's regular white <laughs> potatoes, it's sweet potatoes, you know, whatever. You know, we typically leave the skin on because that's why you. That's what a lot of the nutrients are, especially when you think about the iron content. Mm -hmm, exactly. So let's see. We also have. Um, Burundian Traveler coming hey, in. Burundian Traveler. Yep. I don't know if he's in Kenya, if he's in Tanzania, where he is, but he's always traveling. So definitely, hey there to you. And thanks, Gail, for dropping that. You know, we are, she says, try StreamYard for free. Mm -hmm. We are StreamYard powered by StreamYard. And StreamYard is a great platform. So everything that we do here is StreamYard powered, giving you all the great experiences on my guys' life. So if you want to start streaming your content, check out StreamYard. Check out this link to StreamYard. Absolutely. Okay. So should we go ahead and do the rates and then let them end on um, the answer? Yes, on the answer to this question. Let's go ahead and do the race. All right. Okay. Let's see if we have any other answers. And Gail at night is just reminding everyone to click the like button. Again, that lets other folks know that you enjoy this information. They might as well. We do have our website scrolling at the bottom, blindguyhiswife.com, along with our sponsors. So there are quite a few people that have chosen to not just like us, but love us by becoming sponsors as well. Uh oh, Philip is selling Wally. He's going to try to do the Corey's River Tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna head over to the race mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna come back to answer this, right? right. Uh, Laquita Marie leaves the skin on when she makes sweet potato drop biscuits because the skin is good for what? Fiber, bunions, manganese, vitamin C, antioxidants, vitamin A, big eagles, vitamin E, potassium. Y'all do know that vitamin A, C, and E, which spells ACE, uh, those are some of the best antioxidants. Vitamin C is an amazing antioxidant for so many things. So I'm thinking about it, oh, that's what you take when you get a cold, but you keep getting a cold. But like you said, it's, it's a powerful antioxidant. And we'll talk about some of the antioxidants, that how what the benefits are, because most people think antioxidants, oh, okay, fighting cancer, but there's a lot more to it than it does just on a general basis. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's one of the reasons why it's, uh, I'm just giving y'all, you know, some, some 
insight on the right answer. That's all. Just trying to help you all out. And of course, um, on how to stay healthy, looking good, feeling good. Y'all know that Unique View is up in hey, here. Unique View in the house. Yes. Hey, Unique View headlines. So good to see you. Now, you were, if you were here in the first five minutes, we would have put you in two. The blue, blue ribbon plate race. But because you're an OG, you're in there anyway. So that being said, let's go with the blue ribbon plate race. So this way we can make sure that, you know, everybody's having a good time today on game day. Corey, how long should this race be? 20 seconds. Okay, we'll set it for 20 seconds. This way, everybody can see themselves. They can enjoy it. Y'all know we are all things health, business, and wealth. And with these food games, we want to see how y'all are using your food. What foods are you eating? We can share information and all of those things. I've got the race pulled up, Corey. It's full screen so everyone can see who they are. There are quite a few names in here. You know Wally is in there. I only put him in there once, but... How are you going to say ready, set, go? I'm going to say on your marks, get set. And then when I give you the nod, you're going to say go and click the button. All right. By the way, Wally is a bowl of yak. Go ahead, Corey. What? It looked like a bowl oh, of yak. Oh, you're talking about, wow. I'm, I'm looking at his, yeah, I'm looking at his picture. I mean, you can't say stuff like that. You know, like, man, some, some of the, their whole life is like a bowl of yak. So I'm messed up. So when you said that, I'm like, uh, did somebody type that in the comments? No, no, no. Go ahead and go. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. A box of yak. Go ahead. Oh, unique view is a, a a cupcake piled high with uh, frosting, cool beans. Okay, you know the kids don't like when we say cool beans, so we have to say it at least once. Wally says it's rigged only unless you win. Remember, you won last week. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna shuffle the deck. G. Albert, just because you said so, I'm going to shuffle the deck, and that way, you know, I think I can shuffle. Let's see. Oops. Um, I don't know how to shuffle. Okay, let. Oh, here it is. Boom. Shuffle characters. There we go. There we go. Now Gail at night is down there as a taco. Let's go for it, Corey. Here we go. On your marks. Get set. What do you say when it's... Oh, no. Nah. Wallace said, no. Nah. <laughs> That's Chinese rice. <laughs> Get into it, Corey. Hey, he, he says it. he did, and he's still calling it red, even though he won. Go ahead, Corey. All right. On your marks. Get set. What does Wally say when a fine woman comes up there and wants to take him on a date? He says, go. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this is working out. Okay. Gail Knight is falling back as a taco. Dang. Somebody just fell off. So is Melissa Jane and G. Albert. They've fallen out of the picture completely. Burundian Travelers is holding steady with my Renaissance grandma. And Wally is a box of popcorn. Ooh, Philip Waldo Jr. is pulling forward. Wait, G. Albert. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Melissa Jane, a bowl of salad. <laughs> Nice. Light, refreshing, and won the race. Melissa Jean is the blue ribbon plate winner this morning. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome to you, Lash's journey. Just in time to see how this thing has broken down. So let's see here. Lash's journey is saying hello, Corey. Hey, Lashes. All right. Look, Wally's like, no, nah, no, nah, where's the cash at? Listen, it's game day. So brown coat blue. Oh, yams and sweet potatoes are number one and two carbohydrates in my book. They're both incredible for health. Dr. Blue has put Dr. his lab coat Dr. on. Dr. Coat Blue is in the house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you say his name from brown coat with the lab coat blue. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see who we have in the lineup. Melissa Jane was first place. She was a salad bowl, some kind of way. G. Albert walked all of that. He's like a Sunday with ice cream scoops and sprinkles, but it looks like sherbet, which is actually non-dairy. He was moving fast, wasn't he? He was booking. Yes, yeah, so that's that lactose intolerance kicking in. <laughs> I said sherbet, so no, no lactose. I don't know. Philip Waldo Jr. It's a two-tiered cake. Wally was a uh, popcorn. TWP popcorn was a plate of cookies. How is it that TWP popcorn is never popcorn? Never right? the popcorn. Well, that's the top five. Burundian Traveler, Sandra Living a Full Life, My Renaissance Grandma, Unique View Headlines and Bracket Reviews bring in the top 10. And poor Gail at night, Pulling up the rear, so far behind. I think she was a baked potato. She ain't even on the screen, Corey. Uh, that's because she was busy sashaying so, so that everybody could see she was a snatched baked potato. Mm, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Look, Barone Travel's like, can I win too? Hey, there are more races coming. Let's get back to the question. You're welcome so much, Melissa Jane. She's like, wow. <laughs> right. Wallace says, well, it's still rigged because if, uh, if there wasn't somebody else, I could have won. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is good stuff. Let's see if you all have answers to this questions as Philip Waldo Jr. and everybody else congratulates Melissa Jane. Pulling up the first question of today's game day, it's Laquita Marie leaves the skin on when she makes sweet potato drop biscuits because the skin is good for what? Is it fiber, bunions? Is it manganese? Is it vitamin C? Look, Melissa Jane says, what did I win? Is it antioxidants? Girl, you got bragging rights. We're gonna drop your channel name. Look, boom, everybody knows who you are now. You made it to the uh made it to the big leagues. <laughs> getting your turn at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. So uh is it good? Is the skin on sweet potato? Now keep in mind, we're talking about the whole sweet potato, but it's good for the skin for you to leave the skin on. You can always leave the skin on sweet potatoes. Um, manganese, vitamin C, antioxidants, vitamin A. Is it good for big egos, vitamin E, or potassium? I am going to show a video of me make, making something delicious with these sweet potatoes, with the skin of the sweet potatoes. So that way, you know, you all can see how this works. Uh, Philip says, I'm not going to point out that this is rigged when I did when I don't win today. <laughs> so let's see, Dr. Blo uh, you said blue coat? Lab, lab coat blue. Dr. Lab coat blue says everything. Now, you know what? Probably so. Now, I ain't going to say bunions for sure. All I know is if it's good for your connective tissues and your bones, which is what manganese is good for, if all of those antioxidants like vitamins A, C, and E are good for you recovering and healing and freeing up, re get, getting rid of free radicals, I should say, then yeah, it might help your bunions. It'll help your big ego too, because antioxidants are those that, those uh, minerals and vitamins that actually help you to fight aging. So for the ladies and the gentlemen that might be going, that have a, starting to show some crow's feet, getting some wrinkles, mm. getting a little older, eat more sweet potatoes because it's got lots of antioxidants in it that help to fight that Oof. aging process. So. Those crow's feet, yes. You, you, uh, you smile a lot. And so they say those little lines on the side, it's funny how they call those crow's feet. Ain't it the same? Right. Chicken feet, robin's yeah, feet, so all like bird's feet. feet. Uh, those, I like that. So I don't, I don't know how that right. out, but okay. Exactly. Look at Burundian Traveler. He says, I must win. We got you. We're going to run another race right after this particular video because y'all know as part of this talk show, we do ask you to like if you find value. We do invite you to eat more fruits and vegetables every day at every single meal. And why is that, Corey? Because we're not vigilantes or fruit hoodlums or plate popo, mealtime marines, southern time security guards. We are plate advisors. We want you to get more fruits and vegetables in every meal. Every so, single meal. So that you can have better health, business, grow your business, and increase your wealth. Absolutely. So let's see here. Uh, we have Gail reminding you all if this is something that you're finding value in, hit the like button. Now, Melissa Jane brings up a great point. She says the skin looks so rough. Now, we're not talking about this type of yam right here. This is like a yam yam, a real deal yam. When you go to Thanksgiving and see how this is white, this is a yam. This is that that one at Thanksgiving when they're selling those orange sweet potatoes, the skinny ones, and they're calling them yams. Girl, they ain't yams. There's actually a story that goes behind that because the reason that those sweet potatoes were called yams is because... And this is a cassava, by the way, which looks like a piece of wood or something. When Africans came to the Americas by what I call involuntary servitude, better known as slavery. They came to the United States and other parts of the world and they found these sweet potatoes. And because of the shape of the sweet potatoes they found, they said they called them yams, which is what the word was for in their cultures. And so as time grew on, went on, the, it became a marketing thing because we don't get yams here. Yams aren't native here. You have to buy them from specialty stores or you- they Well, Holistic Living with Abby Stalker Mom says, love my yams. And we do have yams in the grocery yeah. store. You just have to look at for them. If you know what they are, mm -hmm. they are actually in Food Lion. They only have about six. That's why yeah, you miss them. That's what I'm back saying. in the day when right. you worked at Food Lion, they, they probably there. did. Yeah, well, back then. What, what I was trying to say was that that's not something that stopped a lot in the store because they would put, prefer to put sweet potatoes because that's something that grows domestically here. Well, you know, There's, Abby Stalker Mom is in Jamaica and mm -hmm. she's right. You have so many different types of yams. yams yep. And G. Albert is asking, Corey, is that why Laquita looks so young and delicious? Mm -hmm. It's the makeup, it's the camera I magic. the young part. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, so basically it's became a way to market sweet potatoes. They start calling sweet potatoes yams. And well, then, you, wait a minute, Corey. 
Gail at night puts that white yam in her soup. It's a recipe learned from a Jamaican friend. And you, you know, uh, uh, Holistic Living with Abby Stalker mom says, yes, because she's in Jamaica. She says white and yellow, soft and so on. And this one is a hard yam. It's a white hard yam. So you notice it's like uh, longer and skinnier. And it reminds you, like you said, Corey, of that yam in the uh, Thanksgiving time, the long skinny one that the orange one they fake us out and say, oh, these are yams. Yeah, Make some candy yams. Yeah, typically when you see candy yams in the can or yams that in the, in the can here in America, those are sweet potatoes. Mm. Oh, see, Gail at Night says you can't find them everywhere. She gets hers from Publix. Now, she's in mm. Georgia. We don't have Publix here in Virginia, but we do have. So say, for example, where we live, we can walk to a Harris Teeter, which is like Kroger. They have them. We can walk to Aldi. I can't remember them having them. We can also walk to a fresh market. They have them as well. So when you say specialty, fresh market would be more like a specialty right. because they aren't prevalent like Publix. They mm -hmm. aren't everywhere like that. And thank you, Gail at Night, for dropping the link to the recipe library. This particular recipe that I'm about to show you is there in that recipe library. And Holistic Living with Abby Stalker Mom says, me too, Gail. Uh, you know, for that particular Publix. Like, I guess she's oh, getting- Oh, I forgot. It's dun, 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 e, 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 Abby Stalker Mom. Teenage boys come to me, daughters, then Abby Stalker Mom shows up and brings more fire. Well, you know, Wally is Haitian and he says he doesn't like ham. He doesn't like yams. Every time Why, his mother- like anything. Every time my mother makes our soup, I make sure it's not in my soup bowl. Cause you know, yeah, you can't- and and. Abby is saying, you just haven't had the right person to cook it for you. Ha ha, Wally. <laughs> uh -oh. And he's saying, though, as long as you're close to the islands on the east side, you're, you're more so good. You can mm -hmm. find the yam. So true. Thank you, Wally, for that. Because like you're saying, they grow in certain places, which is why we have access to them here on the east coast. So I'm going to play this particular food video for you. It's a sweet treat, um, a sweet, savory treat, sweet potato biscuits. Here we go. I've added the two tablespoons of sugar. I've also added the teaspoon of salt. Add the butter. I've melted my butter. I'm gonna add it in. Plant butter is a dairy-free and gluten-free butter made with plant-based oils from olives, avocados, and almonds. By the way, this is just two sweet potatoes. These liquids help the uh, sweet potato to get really smooth. And it blends the flavors evenly for what I'm putting in. And I use my hand mixer so that the skin of the sweet potatoes is completely blended because that's where a lot of the nutrients are. Sweet potato skins are safe to eat. They're rich in fiber, vitamins A, C, and E, plus antioxidants that help prevent chronic disease. Go ahead and add my buttermilk and then I'll blend that. So I've got a lemon, I just cut it in half. And I am going to create buttermilk by adding the lemon juice. Here we go. I'm going to add three cups of flour. So that's my first cup. I'm going to add a couple more. And then I'm also going to add a tablespoon of baking powder. Here it is, all mixed up. You take the batter you take a big heaping spoonful and you drop it right onto the pan bake at 375 for eight to ten minutes you'll smell them when they're done i like these these were really good i like how they were kind of crunchy on the outside but smooth and creamy on the inside y'all saw it right there drop biscuits. sweet potato drop biscuits now you know we're going to go move forward with this game day because it's friday it's game day some of you have already won the race or been in the race you know you got in the top three uh while it was in the top three in the last race right something like that dang something like that mm -hmm. so i noticed that wally is saying that he does not like um you know we were showing you that video for example to show you how you can leave the skin on the sweet potatoes. And we were saying, I use sweet potatoes in there. There are different types of yams, like this yam right here. Uh, Abby Stalker Mom is talking about getting hers from Publix uh, or using these, there are different types and everything. 
Wally is saying he doesn't like those yams, even though his mom makes great soup. He just doesn't like these yams. Look, I'm gonna write, everybody join my petition. We're he ain't gonna, sipping some soil anymore. We're gonna write a letter to the Haitian embassy to have uh, Wally's <laughs> Caribbean called Snacks. <laughs> he don't like okra, he don't like yams. That's the thing talk, he don't like plantains. Well, you know, like, Abby, <laughs> Abby uses that butter, that earth balance, and we gotta find another one because somebody told us it wasn't yeah. a good one, but yeah. hey. Lab Coat Blue. Yes, Lab Coat Blue, he did say that. And Gail at Night is telling you all about the brawn mixer that you saw in the video. We went over that one in detail last week. I think I use it in pretty much every single recipe that I have. Now, this one is $176 for the whole kit. I bought this kit um, years ago and it lasted me about 20 years until I accidentally melted the cord. So all of the accessory items still work, like the food processor part, the immersion blender, the potato masher, the different slicer and all of that, the different slicer pieces for the food processor. But right here in our kit, we do have other economical options like this kit here, it still has the immersion blender. It still has the small mixer. It has the cup and it's only $39. Y'all know these things, the prices change on them depending on what sales are running because it's Amazon. So if you're an Amazon user and you're trying to figure out how to best use the skin on those potatoes, how to get it done, yes. Visit that link that Gail at Night dropped and you can see these products. Here's another kit, $114. So the prices change, always check back so that way you can find your solutions. So Corey, should we do first place pony or should we first say hello to David Hunt who is still in his in his sick bed? Pretty boy. And he's still talking trash. How he's supposed to be sick, but he's talking about even measurements deserve their place. <laughs> Watching my watching my food recipe. Look, y'all know I just pour it in, but there's a recipe library there for you so you can listen to it, you can slow it down or whatever. And he says, hashtag measurements amount, measurement amounts matter. <laughs> well, at least Melissa Jane says it looks so good. Wally is saying everything is rigged, but it's not. When you do the first place pony, Richmond, make sure you hashtag the home team. We're about to do first place pony today on game day. And while you don't like, you don't like over, you don't like sweet, you don't like yams. Do you like Vichy Schwa? Do you like any? We're going to really, really, really start writing that love. <laughs> uh oh, he's talking back. Corey, I'm going to make a petition to see if you line on your site. Y'all know Corey can't see. His eyes don't work. They haven't worked for over 25 years now. That's why I read all the comments. I ain't, I ain't got, look, you he said, don't come for me, pimp. I like what I like. I'll push back. <laughs> I will push back. Look, look, Wally, I can, I'll prove what we're going to do is before you start the petition, we're going to meet halfway. You down in the South, we'll meet somewhere like in South Carolina. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive your car with you in it. Yeah, we're gonna see about my site. How about that? You know what? He don't care. Uh <laughs> Don with Sonia has put in hashtag the home team. Y'all know she's chiming in all the way from Namibia. So we definitely appreciate you being here. Next Gen Investor TV is also here, Corey. Saying, hey everybody, yeah, happy yeah, Friday. The, the Caribbean show show that day. Wally, uh David Hunt. Ashes, David Hunt. Next Gen Investor Next Gen TV. Investor. Uh, and speaking there. of speaking of the islands, Brown Coat Blue says we were frying the yams up in Jamaica. Yum. All right, Lab Coat Blue frying up some yams. That's it. That's it. And so let's see if we can get into the first place pony race because everybody is putting their hashtags in, like Dine with Sonia, hashtag the home team. Gail at Night has it in there. Now y'all know why Gail at Night is snatched. She says instead of sweet potatoes, she is putting these yams in her soup. Okay, so y'all going over there to Gail at Night's channel. Um, check out her Instagram, all of that stuff. If you're looking for eye candy as well as wonderful content. Oh, you know what? They thank you, David Hunt, with uh, hashtag the home team, and he also says, Wally, I can't stand you with that yam business. <laughs> <laughs> And look at Wally laughing, talking about, nah, I'm good. Plus, at this point, I don't have a car, so, you know. <laughs> no, 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 we will, we, will, we will prove it. <laughs> well, it's game day, so we're going to show you the next question in today's game, and then we'll run the race. Once you see the question, we'll go ahead and run the race. That way, we can move forward, share some love, and get it going. Cassava contains, matter of fact, I'm going to show them the cassava. Cassava contains 18 times more vitamin E than sweet potatoes, and how many more times vitamin A than white and sweet potatoes? If is it three times more, 15 times more, or five times more? This is tricky. And you notice I do have a, a cassava there, 
and oh this one right here y'all you can lift weights with this this is like a five pound weight how, how much would you say this weighs Corey? um let's see i'll say about yeah i'll give you five pounds on this one it's pretty heavy yeah, right trying, i'm gonna create a lit let's see oh like a football y'all know no, Corey can no, see no, he no, did no, play football no. this is about like how much did camille weigh when she was born she was 7 11 7 pounds 11 ounces i'll say that's about this is about the size this is about camille when she was born oh you know what when you hold it like a baby it is a little bit more weighty you're right you can yeah. kind of tell but listen don't hold your food like a baby just baby it in your tummy eat it and enjoy speaking it of which, we gotta say happy birthday to the baby girl she turned 11 today yes you all today on september 2nd 2011 I brought into this world a beautiful baby girl. That was about the weight of that cassava. <laughs> yes, that was about a weight of this cassava. And, and the length. <laughs> yes, and she was about this size. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She was. No, I think she was a little longer than this. No, she was a tiny little ball of thing. <laughs> That's because their knees are drawn up. But yes, today is her birthday. Denique Anthony Lord. All, all the, the Car Caribbeans in the house. All the Caribbeans in the house. Put in. Bah, 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 in the chat. <laughs> represent <laughs> now listen Danique anthony is listening while outside with his trees let me tell y'all about the trees take your shoes off what kind of trees huh 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 i'm trying to clear his i'm trying to trees i'm trying to clear his name okay <laughs> take your shoes off you know they talk about tree huggers y'all know it's electric boogie woogie woogie when you head outdoors there's so much electricity out there. Oh, Audrey's Living Life is telling Coco happy birthday. Thank you so much. Danique Anthony does have hashtag the home team. Oh, wait a minute. Gail at night says the first place pony winner gets a $10 Amazon gift card. Compliments of Gail at night. Hey, wow. Gail at night. All right. So now we got to get this race running for real. Look, I bet you Audrey's Living Life, get in. Hashtag the home team. I know, right? Hashtag the home team. Philip Waldo has it in. And oh, David Hunt, y'all know because he's Trinidadian. He says yuca is another name for cassava. cassava. Yep. Yep. Thank you for that. So cassava, or as David Hunt says, now yuca. You now you're talking about some good, a good replacement for French fries and potato wedges. Yuca or cassava? Mm -hmm. Man, that is delicious. Yeah, you know, because yes, at the Pollo Yoko places, the uh, Peruvian chicken places, they mm -hmm. always have yuca fries and whatnot. Yep. So yes. Philip Waldo says he's going to win this one, especially because Gail at night has upped the ante. So you know what to do, Wally. Don't play with it. Put in your hashtag, the home team. Cassava contains 18 times more vitamin E than sweet potatoes and white potatoes. How many more times more, how many more times vitamin A though, does it have than white and sweet potatoes? All right. So for those of you that have access to yuca, Make sure you get some. And Don, Don with Sonia, all the way from Namibia, is saying happy birthday to your baby girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She is our youngest. Uh, oh, my goodness. Y'all, we got three girls, and it has been a joy. David Hunt is like, oh, Gail at night, though. She did say happy birthday, baby girl. I was so excited about the brap, brap, brap from David Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you, Audrey's living life. It. Oh, Wally says happy birthday to the uh, to Laquita the third. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Philip says enjoy your day, Quita Junior, Junior, Junior. Mm -hmm. Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy. That's the singer. You know, right. David Hunt has a good voice. He sounds better than me. But yes, outdoors it's electric. So you know, if you can't, if let's say you don't have access to cassava, let's say you don't have access to yuca. Same thing. Very heavy, about the size of a newborn which means this is a lot of good eats right here, y'all. Think about how many meals you can make with this. How far does it go? So if you don't have access to that and these foods will heal you because they got the vitamin A, the vitamin C, all the antioxidants, get outside, lean on a tree. You ain't got to hug it. You know what I'm saying? The people say you're hugging trees, but there's electricity out here for you. Make sure your feet are in the soil. Do all of those things so that you can get the electricity. They say it heals so many things, right? People are healing fibroids and all kinds of stuff. But y'all know this is the new age people using the old, old age information to tell us what we already knew. That's why we were running around, having a good time, climbing trees, standing, taking our shoes off. You know, uh, all, did y'all, when y'all played football, were y'all barefoot or did y'all have shoes on? When? when you were jumping ditches and stuff. Oh, no, we all, we had shoes on then because grandma's yard had, we, we call them sticker bars. Oh, and, that's true. You know, so we had to, it was bad enough getting tackled on the one, but still, mm. on all, you know, we had to do something different. <laughs> right. Sandra living the full life says, happy birthday, baby girl. Now, uh, David Hunt, he says, ooh, I'm with you on the yuca fries. And both him and Sandra living a full life are guessing 
15 times more. So they're guessing that the cassava has 15 more times vitamin A than white and sweet potatoes. Yeah. I guess since, hmm? Is it E or A? Uh, vitamin A. Well, yeah. you know, it has 18 times more vitamin yeah, e. e. Okay. So they're guessing 15 times more vitamin A then. And vitamin A is good for vision. Uh, I know for those that you, like the quitter was saying before, if you use retinol for your vision, this is what it is. This comes from the beta carotene, which is the orange, gives, gives a lot of orange vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes, their orange color. Mm -hmm. it, uh, and it can be found in green leafy vegetables as well. But these uh, <laughs> beta carotenes, they, they, they turn into vitamin A in your body and release retinol, which helps your eyes. So Absolutely. Now, of course, for Corey, his vision loss was from nerve damage, which is why he cannot see. And so that's not going to necessarily restore his vision. We have to do some other things for that. Uh, Danique Anthony is saying, it's the art of bonsai, ficus, Brazilian rain trees, trident maples, couple a couple of elms. Wow. All right. There you go. Look at Miriam. She's like, oh my goodness, I woke up late. I can't believe this. Let me tell you what you're not going to believe, Miriam. First of all, that you're the first Nigerian here. So I, I'm Nigerian a little teeny bit because all of the island people have showed up. Danique Anthony, David Hunt, Wally, Lashes, Lashes Journey, Next Gen Investor TV. I think we forgot somebody. But said Danique Anthony, right? Yes, I said Danique Anthony. Okay. This is the other thing you're not going to believe. G. Albert is saying, Gail at Night, wow, that gift card for the first game. Wow, thank you more. So Gail at Night, because we're about to run the first place pony, Gail at Night has said today that compliments of Gail at Night, because y'all know, Gail at night is uh, making it rain over there as a moderator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> her, her daytime job as a moderator, she always getting flued out. She's snatched. She's beautiful. She has a, a popping channel. Great content. She says, first place pony winner gets a $10 Amazon gift card. Compliments of Gail at night. That's what you ain't going to believe, Mary Mighty Poju. This is the good news, okay? So... Uh, Next Gen Investor TV is saying happy birthday to you, little Laquita. And the reason why, Miriam, is because our youngest daughter, Coco, is today. She's 11 years old. Uh, she was born September 2nd, 2011. We have three daughters and they all have been such a joy. Miriam says, oh, my God, that's Yam right there. Yes, you already know. So we today we have a cassava or a yuca and we have a yam because, you know, that's what our questions are about. So. Let's see if we can get into the first place pony to see who is going to win. Now, keep in mind that Gail at Night is dropping these links uh, talking about the money-making investments that Blind Guy, his wife, uses. We've talked to you all about ground floor. If you win this $10, you can we invest in ground floor. with starting with how much? $10. And how much will they get back? Right now, they were, what was that promotional? Week? No, it's still going. $50. $50 back. So, hey, invest wisely. I showed you all how I put in $1,000 and that has already grown to $1,700. I'm estimating because it's $1,500, uh, $1,600 because it's $1,000. No, it was $17, right. $1,692. Yeah. So by now, it probably is up. Sandra living a full life is saying me too, because Wally is saying hashtag Team Caribbeans beside the yams. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bronco Blue. Uh, who said me too? Uh, that was Sandra living a full life. Is she Caribbean too? So let us know, Sandra, because I I think so. I forget. But if so, you got to put pa -pa -pa. So uh, Black, Dr. Blue Coat, Lab Brown Coat Blue, Blue Dr. Coat Lab Coat Blue. Blue says, I think sweet potato has approximately 100 times the vitamin A of cassava. Ooh. You know what? Let's see, because here, here it is. Now, you know what? David Hunt is sick today. So thank you, G. Albert, for saying we are all praying. I mean, praying for the Hunt family because he is sick. David Hunt's supposed to be sick, but he's talking trash. Now, Danique Anthony says, yes, we are energy beings. I believe being one with land grounds us as people. It absolutely does. The science says it does, even though we, you know, we're already, we already knew that. But, you know, now they had to show it with the science. Dr. Blue Coat, Corey. Yeah, cool. Dr. Brown Coat Blue, mm -hmm. Lab Coat Brown Coat Blue says mm -hmm. A is a is a carotenoid, vitamin A, mm -hmm. which gives the orange color. Thank you for yeah. that. Absolutely. All right. So I say we go for the first place pony because Sandra Living a Full Life says Gail has a great personality. Make sure you have in hashtag the home team like Wally because he's like, hey, for the cash, got to do uh -huh. it, right? So let's go for it. And uh, Sandra, also let us know where you are from. 
She says DNA overloaded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Queen Lenore, you know what to do. Put in hashtag Queen the home Lenore, team. Hashtag the home team. Love and live show. Hey. Philip, we are not just sending you to cash app. We are doing the first place pony. And in order to get in there, you can win $10 compliments of Gail at night if you win. What are you going to say? What am I going to say for this I'm one, Corey? I'm the horse race announcement. And then when I make the gate sign bling, you're going to say, and they're off. All right. Because Miriam has in hashtag the home team. G. Albert is saying, day oh, mm -hmm. daylight, come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm sorry, Wally. Let me make sure I find your other one because you said that's thousands of times, Laquita. What was I talking about? Do you remember? Nope. Uh, I don't know. All right. I know he did tell Philip. Is it me, uh, Philip, or are the rest of y'all losing? Wally is going to win. Y'all hear that? Wally talking trash. He wants to win this race. I don't blame you. Don with Sonia is laughing in, Domin in Dom Namibia. <laughs> I was about to say Dominican. <laughs> Philip, let's hurry up before he blocks everybody. Really? Because he's a moderator, even though you can't really block everybody. This is unrigged. Yes, I am ready. Da, 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 da. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another one of the Blind Guys Wife Their Life Live. First place pony derby brought to you by Buy Me a Coffee. Make sure you visit blindguyswifethelife.com and click the green coffee cup. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> All the jockeys are mounted behind the gates and ready to ride the Queen of Marie. Yes. What do you say when I come rub down and violet botanical skincare body butter? Bring! Ooh, and they're off. We got Bronco Blue, uh, Melissa Jane Wally, my Renaissance grandma. Oh, wait, let me make sure they can see everybody. David Hunt, Danique Anthony, Mary Molly Poggio, Danique Anthony, David Hunt oh, has won! David <laughs> Hunt, that's what I'm talking about. Stole the win from all the ladies. The Love I mean, and Live show tried it. Audrey's Living Life he, tried it. He's not even riding secretary. He's riding secretary. <laughs> brother and his brother got a, a horse that's lame, sick, and still won. Go ahead, David, honey. You know what? Well, I do like, yeah, right? All, all that from the sick bed. Sandra Living a Full Life said it best. We are all winners of great information. Absolutely. David Hunt's like, yes! I mean, <laughs> he David, probably singing too. Instead of riding on a saddle, David had his bed mattresses laid across and still riding in the race. Go yes, ahead, yes, yes. Look, brown coat blue. Congrats, David Hunt. Love and live show. Congrats. And Miriam has to go off to her premiere, but we know she'll be back. So thank you so much. Y'all subscribe to David Hunt. She is dropping his link. Y'all know how Gail at Night does it. She makes sure that we know who the winners are and how can he get that gift card? Should he email you? How should he do this? You let us know. All right, Corey, are we going to give them the answer? Yeah, let's go ahead and give them the answer. Lord, now Philip and Wally salted. Wally did some horse pucky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sandra, living a full life. And Wally got the megaphone. What? Shaking my head. Okay, David Hunt, you won this one. Back to the rig phone. It should have known better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gail at night. She says, congratulations, David Hunt. Would you like an Amazon gift card or the cash app? Oh, okay. Why here with this singing? We are a part of the... The Janet Jackson style, uh -huh. Rigged Nation. While well, Audrey's <laughs> living life is steadily congratulating him. Love and Live Show is laughing. Let me tell y'all why she's laughing. All the way to the bank. She has several businesses and a family business. So she's laughing because it's like, ooh, I got to laugh so I don't kill the family. But they are successful. You know, she used to own a restaurant, but now they're like, look, the pandemic happened, no problem. We're going to do pop up. We're going to still sell our hot sauce. We're going to sell our teas. We're going to do the doggone thing. She got books. When we, we were talking about Amazon KDT, mm -hmm. KDP publishing mm -hmm. the book, she was like, oh, yeah. Y'all know I did a few different, um, uh, published a few different books using Amazon KDP. So if you're looking for business advice and just how to live and have a good life, get head on over here to Love and Live Show. You know what, Laquita Marie, you were going to check and validate the 100% vitamin A content. Thank you, G. Albert. I got to give y'all the answer to the question because the question was... How many more times vitamin A does the cassava have than white and sweet potatoes? So I'm going to double check this right along with you all. I think I got this from Healthline. Now, while I do that, while you're checking it fast, can I tell my five minute story? Oh, you know what? That's a good one because y'all know we used to do five minute stories all the time. TWP Popcorn is big enough, David Hunt for winning. So congratulations to you, David Hunt. And look at it, all the way from Egypt, it's the lovely Matrell. 
<laughs> Matrell on a mission is here. Y'all know we were talking about making money with her yesterday. Hey, fellas, check it out. Next For the next month, Matrell on a mission is going to be doing a special swimsuit edition. So make sure you subscribe and go there and visit. Oh, right, right, right. So David Hunt. You know, Matrell, I didn't say you had to have the swimsuit on. You just have to have a swimsuit somewhere about nearby. David Hunt is contacting Gail at night. So that's good. Everybody's connected. Look at Philip, y'all. If y'all need his cash app, hashtag Philip Waldo Jr. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Gail at night says, I already have your email. You'll get the card shortly, David Hunt. Wow. And right. she's dropping links so where you all can get these recipes. Next Gen Investor TV is excited with David, with That's Philip for David Next Hunt. Gen. That was the other Caribbean. That's what it was. Yes. All right, Corey. So you're going to do the five minute story time while I pull up the information on the vitamin A and C and all of that stuff. Go ahead. Long ago in the far off land that we now know as Ghana, there once was this e Ghana. Ghana. Okay, because Dime was you was laughing. I'm like, Ghana. Long ago in the far off land that we now know as Ghana, there once was an evil witch who used her magic to cast spells on people. Whenever a woman would come to her marketplace stand and would refuse to buy fabric, she would zap them with a spell and cause them to lose all their teeth. So they had to walk around like this. If a man walked by and refused to give to buy anything from her marketplace stand, the witch would zap him with a spell and cause him to lose all of his hair. But one day in the land, the people got tired of the witch, so they chased her out of the village. And before she left, she turned and cast a spell and said, Anyone that utters the word that comes between four and before six, you shall freeze like a stone forever. If you utter the word that comes before after four and before six, you'll freeze like a stone forever. Now the food became scarce and the land became dry and all the people had to eat were yams. Yams were made into fufu for stews. Yams were made into all sorts of dishes, including breads and, and, and other meals. But one man named Kwaku grew tired of eating yams. He decided that he was going to make himself a yam stew by catching this guinea fowl, the bird, to add to his supper. Now, Miss Guinea Fowl was a clever bird, and she was hard to catch, but Kwaku had a way. He said, if I can trick Miss Guinea Fowl into saying that number that comes after four and before six, she'll freeze like a stone forever, and then I can catch her and put her in my stew. Now, Miss Guinea Fowl was very fond of yams, so Kwaku put out five yams. And he stopped, and he puzzled over them as Miss Guinea Fowl approached. When Miss Guinea Fowl came by, she saw a, a Kwaku looking like Lakuda and Philip. Like one, two, uh, one, uh, two, uh, one. And she said, Oh, Mr. Kweku, you're having a difficult time. How can I help you? And she, he says, Yes, Miss Guinea Fowl, I have these gems, but I need to count them and I don't know how. So Miss Guinea Fowl shook her feathers and scratched the ground, walked over to the yams and sat on one. She said, You have one, two, three, four, and then the one I'm sitting on. Kweku said, that's not how you count the yams. Try it again. So Miss Guinea Fowl hopped onto the next yam. She said, let me see. You have one, two, three, four, and the one I'm sitting on. She did this over and over again to finally Kweku lost his cool and got so angry that he forgot about the trick he was playing. Step aside, you crazy bird. I'm going to show you how to count these yams. You count them like one, two, three, four, five. And he froze like a statue. And Miss Guinea Fowl shook her feathers, scratched the ground, looked up to the heavens and said, Bless this food I'm about to receive. Oh, she got! And she gobbled up one of the yams and carried the rest home to her children. And that's what happens to people like Kwaku, who lose their cool and stop thinking about the things that they're doing, and they get caught up in their own trick. And that was the end of that. Was that five minutes? about five minutes thank you all mm -hmm. for enjoying that story let's see what the chat is saying about the five minute story time uh let's see lord knows Diane was only trying to mess up your check y'all know Corey can't see what you say Corey sounds like he's reading 
there's a story long days. My daughter's went to school told me, told teachers, my daddy can't read. And I was like, no, I, and, they, and they're calling me. I'm like, I can read. I just can't read print. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. It's so funny. Now, David Hunt says, this is the best show that Corey Laquita has done this week. Hands down. Wow. Because yeah. right, he got $10. Oh, of course. He won the, you know what? Hey. <laughs> Invested in ground floor. Oh, you got a gift card. So you might not be investing in ground floor. <laughs> Oh, and Wally gave you a really nice compliment. Corey, you've been telling stories, performing stories. Have you booked these stories? Too much greatness. You know, we do have Thank to you. print Thank some you. books. We need to do what the Love and Live show has done and use KDP, Amazon KDP. We have to do what young Elijah has done on our show on Wednesday and use Amazon KDP to publish some of these books. We do have them as audio stories. And so just like the plaque behind us, Safari, just like some of our other CDs that we've shown you with Oinkia, the Three Little Pigs, where we've offered op affiliate opportunities. These are currently albums, whereas we need to also... Albums. Yeah, that's the original way to say it. <laughs> Instead of saying a CD or whatever. Philip ain't giving us his likes, but you know what? Dime with uh, Audrey's Living Life and Dime with Sonia are congratulating. So is Melissa Jane. They're clapping. Wow, great story and all those good things. And Philip is letting you know that was 37 minutes, not five minutes. <laughs> Dr. Brown Coat Blue is saying is just laughing at you. And Gail at night is saying, you're welcome to the Love and Live show. What are y'all over there talking about? Something good, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? She dropped the link. So that way, if you all are trying to figure out how to get there, the Love and Live show. Love and Live. They live over there, y'all. They be dropping beats. They do a lot of stuff that you do at Freestyling, home. Freestyling, but wilding. They do a lot. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff that you do at home. And you Queen like. Noise, she puts her grill on and puts her, puts her flag in her pocket and the gangster rapping. Uh, thanks for the love. <laughs> trail on the mission. Corey's telling another, another story. But anyways, uh, Philip is saying, uh, David is a witness. Corey's nickname is Eagle Eye. Y'all, Corey's eyes don't work we ain't messing up no checks but audrey's yeah. living life says great message that's the mark of a master storyteller oh, thank you thank you you already know y'all know we do have our library card however so when you visit blindguysstories.com forward slash library card um that's how you land at you like you do children say that again but say it with a smile you like, ah, 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 ah. i couldn't think of the place Say it with a smile. Blind guy, his wife, dot com. That ain't good enough. Say it with a better smile. Forward slash library card. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to show you that as well. And I was trying to find the, the, the vitamin C. Yeah, because a. it was only the vitamin A. It was only five times more. It wasn't 15. It wasn't. It was only five times more. And now I, I, this is why I'm supposed to keep the answers and give you all the answers as well. So. I'm going to share it with you right now and we'll see what that library card looks like. Hey, guess who's here, Corey? Facts and the uncomfortable truth with- Lord S is in the house. Absolutely. Hold on a second, Corey. I'm gonna ask one of the kids to bring me a library card, okay? All right, Dr. Blue says, uh, I think those are just the white potato numbers is all. It could be, because you know, depending on where I got it from, that's why I was trying to find the answer specifically where I got it from. Wally's giving another compliment. Corey, the blind yet amazing visual storyteller. Oh, Corey will be you. a man of power in the author game. Ah, oh, oh, thank, thank you for you, that. Thank you, thank you. Melissa Jane is just loving it. You talking about with a smile. We do that to our kids, <laughs> like really. Uh, and David Hunt says, so that's three cassavas then. Mary Madipoju is back from her premiere. So I'm going to show you all a little bit about Which this. Was it? Uh, it was the birthday girl the that birthday. just came in. Not... Just no, mm -mm, the past library card. So, oh, David Hunt trying to say that's why he said three. Uh, that's why he said 15, three cassavas. <laughs> Dr. Brown Coat Blue says white and sweet potatoes are not related. So I think that was the reason exactly Brown Coat Blue. The way I worded the question, you're exactly right. I appreciate that clarity. Let's show you how you can get uh, access to this particular story through the library card. Uh, it's called our past library card. And guess what? There's a promotion right now. You can get one month free when you visit um, blindguystories.com forward slash library card. Y'all know we were in the, the B Force Accelerator. This has become our hero product currently. And so Philip says, Gail, I'm smoking a brisket, an entire Boston butt, Three slabs of ribs, two whole chickens, and one green bean. You know what? 
barely any fruits of it. See, this is the reason why. And then he gonna say hi to Bernard, still greeting guests as if nothing happened. <sighs> Corey, let's head on over to the library card. After I show them the next question, I'll show them that library card. That way, if they would like to get a library card, try it out one month free. You can get all of these stories. You can access them and see what you like. It is a growing library. So every time, as we move forward, we're going to be adding more stories, more content, resource guides for parents and educators so that you can have access to building stronger leaders through the art of storytelling. If you're looking to make your kids better listeners because they just won't listen, if you're looking to have more peaceful and quiet conversations in the car rides, and, or you just need a good bedtime story, these are some great conversation pieces and some great stars and some great family fun for you. Absolutely. Thank you, Mary Made Poju, for sharing and liking this info. We appreciate it. Thank you, Love now, and Live Show. I can say this is too for Mary Made Poju. If you need some quiet time while you're trying to get do your recordings and your and uh, for your your channel, hey, get this past library card and definitely get the children sitting out and listening, get them off the devices and into this podcast style presentation of great stories. Right now, cassava are similar to white potatoes. Yams are similar to sweet potatoes and to which food that Laquita uses in pancakes? Is it the orange yams? Y'all know the ones in the store they're telling us are yams, but they just basically long a, a different variation of sweet potatoes. Is it carrots? Is it acorn squash or butternut squash? Let us know. Since cassava are similar to white potatoes and we showed you all this huge cassava, AKA um, yuca. yuca uh, yams are similar to sweet potato because they're like long and skinny. Reminds you of those. Now, the yams, though, are similar to which food that I use in pancakes? What do I use in pancakes in addition to sweet potatoes? Is it the orange yams? Is it carrots, acorn squash, or butternut squash? Let us know. I don't know. Uh-oh. Philip is talking trash to Gail. Gail, I don't love you anymore. I just like you a whole lot. Girl, you know how okra is the devil. <laughs> Now, Philip is saying butternut squash. Let me know if you all can hear us because he's also saying, uh, what happened to the sound? Hopefully we are still here. So let's see, blindguystories.com forward slash library card. Y'all know that I am using this particular link system. Thanks to David Hunt. I'm using Rebrandly because he's the one that told us, hey, get a link and you can always have sub links uh, thanks to Ree Brandley. So speaking of David Hunt, he hears us fine. And Audrey is saying butternut squash to this answer. All right. Okay. Like what do I use in my pancakes? Butternut squash is hers. Now Wally is saying orange jam. What in the world is going on here? How much calories are they not give, Are they not showing and giving us? It's a whole marketing scheme. You want to tell us about that, Corey? Yeah, like I said before, when Africans first came to the Americas, they saw the, uh, the cylindrical shape of the sweet potato and they referred to, you know, you make a comparison to what's familiar to you. They called it the yam. And so that became a name in the southern United States for the darker version of the sweet potato. Well, they found out that the dark sweet potatoes weren't selling quite as well and as the golden paler sweet potatoes. So they started calling them yams in the grocery store. The grocery started calling them yams. And that made it more exotic and they started flying off the shelf. And so it was just a marketing tool to sell more sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes is a domestic product. North Carolina is one of the largest, the largest producers of sweet potatoes. So a way to sell things, uh, just like, you know, you know, go to the milk, the milk mustache, milk does a body good. It's the dairy farmers the putting dairy out farmers those advertisements. Putting out that marketing to say, this is why you need to drink more milk and sell more milk. Now, yeah. Brown Coat Blue is saying, is it carrots? Whereas Love and Live Show is saying, is it acorn squash? Uh, you know, already Audrey's Living Life has guessed butternut squash. Lord, Wally's saying, Fax Phillips, okra is a no. <sighs> David Hunt is just telling me, reading is fundamental. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Wally is saying, calories, rewind, I said colors, not no calories. <laughs> You know what? You probably did. That's you... what David Hunt said. Reading this from the exactly. Like Let me read this comment again. How much colors are they not showing and giving us? Because he oh, yeah. says orange yam. What in the world is going on here? Because like he says, this is an actual yam. Wally is Haitian. He's like, no, yams are white. I know. I don't like them. When my mom makes the delicious stew, I puts the yams in there. I don't like them. I can easily pick them out because they're white. But in the grocery store at Thanksgiving, yes. They call those orange, the dark, the dark, the dark colored sweet potatoes. They call them orange yams. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
Lord, Wally in there laughing at Audrey. Thank you for your support. Hashtag okra forever. Speaking of the hashtag, we're at the end of the show. Um, should they put in another hashtag or should we just run another race? Uh, let's go ahead and just run another race. All right, because G. Albert is guessing butternut squash and okra yams. <laughs> okra yams. <laughs> and so, uh, listen to Philip talking trash. Wally, what's sad is that Gail knows I'll walk through fire for her. Y'all know what? Y'all not going to be salty with Gail. Let me just show y'all this particular library card where you can get any of those stories where that particular story that you told, Corey, that is on Savannah Wins, right? Uh, it may in, be. In the library. It may be. It is. That, that was our signature story. I absolutely know it has to be in the past library. Uh, so let's see. If you want to get your past library card, you all, go to... Atumpan, I mean, blindguystories.com forward slash library card, forward slash library card, and you will get first access to musical, musical audio stories, educational resource guides, because this is a growing library, and ex you'll get exclusive downloadable activities, extended learning with extra videos, and it's only $8 a month. However, all memberships include one month free trial. So check it out. You'll get original stories for you like Three Little Pigs, Three Blind Mice, Safari, which is Christ Center. That's the plaque behind us. Savannah Winds, which is traditional African stories, songs, and rhythms. And so that particular story of Anansi and the guinea fowl talking about the yams, her counting the yams, I'd like to say that's on there. You can just click uh, subscribe and it will check you out right there on the platform. And that's what Blind Guy stories.com forward slash library card. Lord, dang, Ms. Real. Hashtag <laughs> Oprah never. <sighs> you know, so, I thought. Real, <laughs> now I'm going to hold you to it. Now you got the way to debate the swimsuit, the swimsuit edition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Audrey, you didn't have anything better to say mentioning that yucky poo poo okra. That's Philip talking trash. And Wally is happy that Matrell is a fan of no okra. Let's get back to game day, y'all. We're going to put y'all into a game. Um, this way, G. Albert is saying, so are white yams the same as potatoes? Nope, they're different. Look at uh, Urban Gardening. That's exactly it, Urban Gardening Chronicles. Another Jamaican saying, Yay. hashtag okra forever. Y'all know she goes live in her garden on Saturday, so you can always see what's popping in the garden. Yeah, you put yams, <laughs> put yams in the title and the Caribbean's coming through. That's <laughs> it, that's it. Uh, let's see, okra never, has team no okra. You know what? Corey, I am going to show you this last um, question one more time while I enter you all in the race. That way, after the race, I'm going to give you the answer as we wind up the show with our plant-based treat because our plant-based treat today shows our sweet potato pancakes. But did you want to explain the answer, Corey? Because basically, if they answered, they got this one right. Uh, we said, which food do I use in pancakes? Is it the orange yams? Carrots, acorn squash, or butternut squash? What do you want to tell them? The queen uses all of them because all of them uh, lend, they have the oranges color, which again, we talked about the beta carotene, which turns into vitamin A, which is an antioxidant and great for your vision. But also that that it, these, these, uh, these vegetables do not change, these fruits and vegetables, because squash is a fruit, they do not change the taste of the pancake batter because regardless of what, the, the, what she's adding to it, and all the other ingredients in that as well, and it just makes a nice batter that turns into a great pancake. So sometimes she uses carrots, sometimes she uses squash, but a lot of times she combines all of these to make the, uh, we call these the uh, sweet potato pancakes, I would say 24 carrot pancakes. The sweet potato but pancakes. I do have a sweet potato pancakes recipe on the channel as well. So like you're saying, the, sweet, the 24 carrot, mm -hmm. we use carrots in that particular one, so yeah. So oh, like, Audrey's Living Life had okra and tomatoes last night. Okra yay. makes the world go round. I know that's right. And look, Matrell got it right because she said butternut squash. So, hey, Miriam is cheering us on. Go ahead, Corey. So, yeah. So, again, like I so said, when you think about it, a lot of people, I, the example I give is people think, you know, vegetables inside of a uh, inside of a pancake. Yeah. Well, the same thing is have, how many of you eaten zucchini bread and enjoyed it? This is our carrot cake and enjoy it. It does. The, it's the same principle. You make you put the, the fruits or the vegetables into the batter, makes the best pancakes. And the Queen's pancakes are very good. I don't even like pancakes like that, but I love hers because I don't have to sit there and add a ton, a ton of syrup to them. I just eat them plain, and that, that's that's the way I love them. I love her pancakes. Yeah, you can definitely eat them plain because there's so many flavors in there and yeah. everything. 
Oh, wait, Dr. Blue has spoken. Go ahead, Corey. I love her cakes and her pancakes. You know what? <laughs> Brown Coat Blue, we're just going to go ahead and um, read his comment. How about that? All right. All right, just one moment because, you know, he always brings it. And let's see, you said it was Dr. Lab Blue? What was Lab it? Lab Coat Blue. Oh, yeah, Dr. Lab Coat Blue. Okay. Because, you know, I mix it up a little bit. But here we go. He says, no, yams are way healthier than potatoes. Oh, yeah, yep. definitely. Yeah, Absolutely. They're full of fiber. They got more potassium than potatoes. They have those B vitamins going on. Of course, again, it goes back to the beta carotene. And yams, actually, uh, they're, they've been found that they can reduce symptoms of menopause. They can reduce... Uh, they, they but wait a minute. Eat. He says... There's a lot of research going on right now about yams. I think this is what you're saying about how they can improve menopause and whatnot. Right, uh, avoid right. increasing overall brain power. That's what I was going to say, brain and, power. And also it can modulate hormones to reduce certain symptoms. Mm -hmm. And he also said, to be fair, all tubers are good, even white potatoes. All tubers are better than grains. Absolutely, because they're bringing in the nutrients from the soil. And so, yes, here we go. Right here, there's a yam. What what else were you going to say, Corey? Because well, he Matrell loves zucchini bread mm -hmm. the, the, the brain food the yams are powerful brain food improves memory improves brain functions so for, for testing purposes so kind of explains why you know some of Africans they come over here and they like got like 5.0 GPAs when they're in the doctoral programs at the universities and things of that nature exactly so um, we're just about ready for the game because I think we have everybody loaded into the game however we can't never move forward because you start saying stuff and then people hear you. What did I say? Love and Live show says, ha ha, Corey loves your cakes and your pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> and Phillip's like, ooh, Corey, this is a family show, Mr. Pancake Man. <laughs> <laughs> Wally's like, yeah, uh, Corey, this is a day show, man. We don't need to hear that you love her cakes and pancakes. Well, I mean, and he says, cakes. well, Phillip says, is Teddy Jam good for you? Jam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey. Uh, G. Albert is like, all at the same time. Ew. This is what I'm saying. We can't ever move forward. We got to go, y'all. This is a one-hour show. We are at the one hour, and we are done, right? So let's go ahead and run the final race because, yep, Philip says zucchini bread is fire, and Matrell on the mission was going to say, I was just going to say, that's why Africans are so smart. Look, you don't need a hashtag. You're already in the race simply because you answered that last question in game day, which is cassava are similar to white potatoes. Yams are similar to sweet potatoes. And to which other foods that Laquita uses in her pancakes? Because we know I use sweet potatoes, but I use all of these. I use carrots, acorn squash, butternut squash, the orange yams. And Philip says he must be African then because he's pretty smart. I don't know, Philip. <laughs> One, uh, two, two. Uh. You know what? Just mm -hmm. buy us a coffee. And if you don't, start your own page. That way, you the platform will buy you a coffee. It'll buy us a coffee. Thank you, Gail at Night, for dropping that link. All right, Corey. I say we run the race and we see what happens, okay? All right. All right. Oh, you know what? Um... One thing that you did touch on, and I think we don't even need to ask this question because you kind of answered it, which is beta carotene gives the colors red, orange, and yellow to fruits and vegetables so the body can convert it to vitamin A. Remember you were saying mm -hmm. that earlier, yeah. the vitamin A, the retinol, and that's good for improving Alzheimer's. You and Dr. Labcoat Blue touched on that. Uh, good skin, helping husbands listen, I don't know lowers your cancer risks absolutely we also talked about it does do that keeps your joystick strong i don't know maybe yeah, so we ain't copper, gonna talk about it but i think copper and, uh, it. And it help with the blood, blood, blood cell production circulation and it helps your nosiness i mean your vision so definitely vitamin a is good for your vision so you all have done an amazing job on this game day we appreciate your help with it which is why all of you are heading into the last race. Philip says, the, uh, the sweet potato pies count? Absolutely, they do, I think. Well, here's the Especially thing. Especially the one that Domino sang about. <laughs> See how old some of y'all recognize that. <laughs> well, Philip says he enjoys acorn squash, but Brown Coat Blue says pretty much all indigenous cultures celebrate either yams or sweet potatoes with very important festivals. Yep, depending the yam festival in uh, Benin and other parts of Nigeria. Yep. Mm -hmm. Depending on what part of the world. I think we'll keep learning more about these in the future. Absolutely. Look, oh, yep. <laughs> Brown Coat Blue was like, yep. 
And Philip said, all of them joints, but somebody's mentioned something about that joysticks, you know, <laughs> Urban Gardening Chronicles. Yeah. Oh, yep. You know that nosiness is for me, Wally. Absolutely. All right, Corey. So how are we going to do this final game? What are you going to say so that everybody can, um, you know, have a good job, have a, have a lot of fun in this particular race? All right. So I'm going to say, I mean, Mark's been set. You're going to say go and push the button. Oh, okay. We'll just keep it simple. All right. So everybody's in the race. And you can say whatever you're going to say whenever you want to say it. On your marks, get set. What are all the men going to do when Matrell on the mission launches her swimsuit edition on her channel? They're going to? Ooh, they're going to say go. <laughs> they're going to go back. Okay, uh, let's see here. Matrell on the mission is falling to the back, though. So is Wally Phillip. Although Junior Love and Live show, dang, everybody falling out. Move, Mary Molly Poultry is pulling through. The Africans are coming. Yes, they are smart. Okay, wait, no. Audrey's living life. Urban Gardening Chronicles. Wally, Wally, uh, Wally is a baked potato. Uh, baked sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Wally with a, as a baked sweet potato with some Urban Gardens butter on Oh, it. no, no, no. He was not a baked sweet potato. Let me see what he was. Let me fix this screen some so I can see. He was a plate of food. I was like, wait, I saw, I saw something yellow at the top. All right, so let's look at the lineup because we got to get out of here. We are at the one hour and over. Wally is first place. Giaba is second. Urban Gardening Chronicles in third place. She's a sandwich. Uh, Giaba with some sort of burger or something. Audrey's Living Life. Mary Made Po Juicy in the top five. Giaba was a yam burger. <laughs> you notice that three out of five of the top five were people from indigenous cultures or like anywhere outside of the U.S. Y'all can get smarter because y'all got the good food. Wally. Urban Gardening Chronicles and Mary Mighty Poju. Not to slight the rest of you, but y'all know we just been eating sweet potatoes and white potatoes, I guess. Love and Live show. Well, she's pretty smart. Business owner, uh, Philip Waldo Jr., Matrell on a Mission, Gail at Night, Dr. Lab Coat Blue, and Pulling Up the Rear. Wait, David Hunt again? Well, he was sick, so, you know, he's not feeling good. Hey, uh, everybody is saying congrats to Wale. Love and Live show, Brown Coat Blue. And look, Philip says, why am I pancakes again? <laughs> look, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Uh, Wally says it was rigged. He wasn't even watching because he was at the bank. That's what I'm talking about, Wally. Make it rain. Is this Friday night? We know what you're doing. Philip is saying, Wally, Wally for the win. And y'all know his channel, Well Talk Productions. Gail has dropped the link. So thank you so much, Wally. I mean, Gail, for dropping Wally's link. How do we get in today's plant-based treat? Because David Hunt says, Wally, you're amazing, bro. <laughs> it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Getting you to eat more fruits and vegetables every day at every single meal. This is the sweet potato pancakes that we've been talking about. Those cakes that Corey loves. <laughs> sweet potato pancakes. Two sweet potatoes here. I think it's two tablespoons of sugar, to be honest. And I have a little bit of salt right down there in the corner. Just a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to create my buttermilk. So I'm gonna add about eight or nine ounces of milk. And I'm going to squeeze the lemon in. That will create the buttermilk. So I've taken flax seeds and added water to create this flax egg tablespoon of flax seeds and water and that's what it looks like. I'm just going to add two tablespoons in some vanilla. Teaspoon and a half. This is how I started adding my baking powder. Dissolve a tablespoon of baking powder in this tablespoon of non-dairy yoga. Mix the sweet potato, sugar, vanilla, and flax eggs. Ta-da! Mix it all up. We only need about a cup of the batter. Now add the baking powder mixture. All in all, I'm going to need about one and a half cups of flour. Add the flour, then add the buttermilk. Mommy added it a little bit at a time. You can add it a little bit at a time or all at once. We got in the pan a little bit of earth balance. Uh, it's got a great buttery taste. Cook it on medium heat. Make sure they don't burn. Flip it once you see the bubbles on the pancake. I don't have anything to say. I just think they were good. All right, now y'all right. know all you have to do is make sure you get your fruits and vegetables in at every meal. 
Wally is saying this was rigged. He's asking Philip why this didn't happen for the $10, but don't worry. We got you, Wally. Check it out. All you have to do is let Gail at night know how you want the funds. If you want an Amazon gift card or if you want a $10 cash app, we'll send her the funds and boom, you will get it just like that. We got you, Wally. You're the favorite, Mr. Handsome. Matrell on the mission is congratulating you. Miriam is like, wow, Sandra living a full life. Congratulating you. Everybody's excited, but Philip is salty. He says, I know, right, Wally, Florida Evans. Damn, damn, mm -hmm. damn. Now, David Hunt, for his plant-based treat, Whole Foods, he had watermelon, grapes, bananas today to go along with his medication. Remember, food is medication, so keep that up because there's plenty of antioxidants in all of those foods that you just mentioned. And we use medications along with the food ourselves, so do what you got to do. But Philip has only has has only had air, air conditioned air, and yawning air. Mm -hmm. Get your fruits and vegetables in. We gotta say goodbye. Oh, How yeah. do we say it? Oh, those pancakes look delicious. The Love and Live show says. Well, keep in mind they're in the playlist. Gail has dropped the link. It's also in the video description for the plant based treats playlist. Well, everybody, we are counting you down. Hump day. Bang. Bang. Woo. Bang to Friday. And we want to thank you for joining us. Join us next week for more exciting and more health, business, and wealth news as we talk about those things that matter to you the most. So to say goodbye, we're going to say goodbye the <laughs> same way that Philip and Wally and David would say goodbye if we put okra in their sweet potato Oh, wait. Pie. Speaking of which, medication and not medication, spelling is also fundamental. David Hunt, we know you said it was messed up. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. How, we say, how would he say goodbye? say goodbye the way Philip Wally and David and Matrell would say goodbye to if they found pieces of okra in their sweet potato pie, they would say deuces. See, Gayla Knight says that's how baby girl got here. Y'all know it's her birthday today. All that banging. <laughs> no banging on the cakes, Corey. <laughs> deuces. Deuces, you all. Welcome to the weekend. <laughs> Juices.